Hey guys, guess who's back? That's right, Bronze is back. That was a terrible Eminem joke. Welcome to another episode of the Top 5 Not to Buy. I'm your host, Christopher, aka the Bronze Age Nerd, and let's get to busting some FOMO. If it's your first time joining me for this show, this is basically an episode where I take a look at some of the top 10 lists, uh, like the, the Key Collector Trending 20, the CBSI Hot 10, stuff like that. And I grabbed five of those books that I think are not necessarily a good investment right now at current FMV prices. Just a quick note, I do value those lists. I don't think that those people that make those lists are, are doing a bad job. I'm not trying to hate on them or anything like that. This is purely about trying to cool the jets on some FOMO that I think might be a little misplaced and kind of offering a counterpoint. You see a lot of these, you know, top comic books to buy. That type of content is really popular. So I'm trying to offer kind of a devil's advocate perspective here. You might expect a lot of Moon Knight on this list because of all the Moon Knight buzz. There's a lot of books that are popping off. Some of them are questionable as far as like whether or not they'll actually matter in the end with Ethan Hawke's character, that kind of stuff. I'm actually not going to include any Moon Knight books because I think they're too volatile right now. I don't really know how that's going to shake out. I don't want to put any money on or against any of those books. However, let me put it this way. I'm currently selling a Fist of Conchu number two, which is going for insane money on eBay. I'm currently selling one of those. And I'd still recommend not buying any of these Moon Knight keys. So that's my overall recommendation. If you're wondering, if you already had them, it's a great time to sell, I think. Uh, also, if you want to try to find them in dollar bins, I actually found that Fist of Conchu for three bucks the other day. So you can still find them for good deals out there. Maybe it's a good time to look for it for that price, but I wouldn't pay the FMV prices. That's just my opinion. OK, at number five on this list. Let's look at Batgirl 35. Batgirl 35 popped up on the list. The argument here is that this is pretty close to her costume. We just saw some uh, some images come out of her costume and in the new uh, um, uh, Batgirl live action. So personally, I don't think this is a thing. I don't think this is a thing that really matters. Batgirl is a very long established character. Her costume, uh, you know, the last thing I can kind of compare this to is when we saw the black suit uh, for Superman kind of spike a little bit a couple times around different releases of the Justice League from Zack Snyder and then the, the Joss Whedon cut. Uh, both of those releases saw some spikes on that, but that's really not a, a big book. Now, it did elevate it from a dollar book to like maybe like a five dollar book. But I, don't, I just don't see there being any reason to chase this right now. So I'd avoid this one. Speaking of Superman, let's talk and the black suit even. Let's talk about Superman uh, Man of Steel 18. This is the first appearance of Doomsday, although there's some debate about what would be his actual first appearance. But it's the key that most people go after for Doomsday. Heavily printed, part of a huge storyline. This book has had a couple different spikes over the years. I wouldn't buy this one either. To me, this is a, you know, the reason that it's being hyped up right now is because it's coming to the, the Superman and Lois uh, TV show, which is a very, you know, anticipated TV show, or at least I should say it's rumored to be coming to that show. Um, that's just not a good reason to go after this. Uh, CW style TV spec doesn't really ever pay off in the long run. So uh, again, this is a good, you know, I, I see sellers popping this thing up for sale right now because they know now is a good time to sell. That would be my advice on this one too. All right, number three on the list, let's look at Daredevil, The Woman Without Fear. This is the 1 in 50 Bartell variant. This is a gorgeous cover. No disrespect for this cover. I love it. But I'm going to follow the, the standard device. This is going according to Key Collector. Uh, you know, they, they, trend, they track their high prices. I'm going off that because that's the listing I'm talking about here. They say it's going for $150. Okay, $150 for a 1 in 50 for a probably decently ordered book um, that isn't even her first appearance. Her first appearance you can get for less than that. If she ever is going to matter, her first appearance is going to matter more than this book. Uh, I think it's a good character to go after. I like her first appearance. I think that's good spec. Going after this, though, um, this is one of those ratios that I could just easily see six months going back down to uh, around 50 bucks or, or maybe even less. So we'll see how it shakes out. But I wouldn't I wouldn't go after this one in 50 for that kind of money. OK, at number two on the list, we have a, a book that's related to the new Peacemaker series. I haven't personally watched Peacemaker yet. I'd like to. I've heard some good things about it, actually, compared to uh, the second Suicide Squad, uh, where I did not enjoy his character very much, even though it was kind of funny a couple times. But I've heard the show is actually genuinely pretty good, so I'm interested to check it out. There's a, uh, a, a new book that's kind of cropped up because of this, which is Suicide Squad number four. This is the first appearance of William Hell, who's a white supremacist. And he later becomes the White Dragon. The reason that this kind of popped up is because it's revealed that that is Peacemaker's father. Spoiler alert for Peacemaker, I guess. I'm not really sure how well this was known, uh, as it's not a character I really follow. But that just doesn't cut it for me. Like, who cares if he's his father? Maybe something's going to happen with this character. But 
I, I really doubt this book's gonna become a big deal, especially with a character. Again, I don't know the character, but he sounds entirely unlikable to me. So I, I can't imagine he's gonna become a big deal. So that's why he ends up on this list. And at number one on the top five not to buy for this week, we're going to look, take a look at World War Hulk number five. This is the first appearance of Scar in Cameo, which uh, is heating back up again. So the reason this is getting included on this list is because this book does this repeatedly. This is like the fifth time that this book is heated up and it cools right back down. So Scar could be coming to the MCU. There could be all these things happening. This book might skyrocket in value someday. Uh, considering how many times this book has peaked and then fallen back down really quickly, I would go ahead and just pick it up on the next lull. Because my, my opinion is that's probably going to come pretty soon. And I think you're going to save yourself a lot of money if you are interested in this book. As always for me, on, uh, with all books on this list, all bets are off. If you find it for below FMV, I'm only talking about buying it at the current inflated FMV because they appear on these lists. Sometimes books are worth it. Mostly they aren't. But it all depends on if you believe in it or not. I hope everybody enjoyed this latest installment of my FOMO busting episode. Uh, if you do want to support the channel, there's some ways you could do that. I have some kind of affiliate links or ways to save you guys some money down in the links uh, below in the description, including a Gemini discount code if you want to stock up on comic book supplies. Also, if you want to support the channel, I do have a couple different stores that I'd recommend. Uh, one is Dangerous Waters Comics and more, and you can get a discount over there using the code BRONZE10. That'll save you 10% off your purchases. It's a great store. I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, they're adding new back issues all the time, so it's not just like one of those online stores that only carries new stuff. You can get tons of old back issues there as well. Also, if you're interested in cleaning and pressing services, I just added a deal not that long ago with Turlock Comics, which do fantastic work cleaning and pressing. You're going to see more of that on the channel soon. And you can get any book, modern, golden age, doesn't matter, cleaned and pressed for $15 if you use the code bronze nuts. All you got to do is DM Turlock Comics on Instagram and set that up. Also, if you do 10 or more books, it's only $12 each. So I highly recommend that. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you want to talk about these top five not to buys or any of my other videos, a great place to do that is at my Discord. There is a invite link in the description below as well, so you can check that out. And I look forward to seeing you there, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, I want to remind you, as always, hey, 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 hey. Read comics every day.